okay. She's making cauliflower crust pizza with her aunt. And then a gas station. <laughs> oh, this is new. Thank you, Brooke. Brooke is on the ball, man. Okay, put it out on Twitter. We're going to quickly live react to this. I'm going to, which luckily it's quick uh, because uh, I've got to uh, get to uh, this busy party. <laughs> and my hair is up in a bun and I have no makeup on. So I'm not even ready to go. And I got to walk my dog and eat something. So at this point, I think I'm going to reach this party by about 3.30. Oh, yes. You go enjoy it. Yeah, and I, I we're going to play this fast. We're just going to get her done. And then later on, I'll make sure I put chapters in, guys. Okay. All right. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message from me on Cameo. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I have an early appointment. So I thought I would grab some breakfast at Tim Hortons. So I'm going to grab a everything bagel with cream cheese and some oj tim hortons has really good oj so i find orange juice usually gives me heartburn but the one at tim hortons usually doesn't hurt my stomach at all in canada there's like a tim's at every corner i swear i won't complain about the gas prices i think i've done that enough and i'm done complaining but they are very high i know I guess she's very upset. Well, she shouldn't be upset because she should actually be kind of thankful that her subscribers didn't pull through and send her enough money through her PayPal uh, scam fraud because she potentially could be stuck in a club somewhere in Europe because they may be stopping all that international airspace is not being allowed to be crossed through. And I have to say, I knew something was coming because the jets in my area were flying like this was before anything happened out in the Middle East for this past week. I was like, and I don't say, I didn't say anything, but I should, sometimes I should make Vegas bets. But I was saying to myself, there's something going on because the jets were really ramping up in, in the area that I live in, in Virginia Beach. And uh, they were really like all the naval carriers. There was a lot of flying going on, a lot of flying. And ever since um, it's been everything kind of transpiring in the Middle East, the jets, I, we, I have no noise. It's like heaven at the moment. So there's stuff going out. So I, I know nothing's just, just, you know, that's why we're having fun, okay? Because there's stuff going on. So in a lot of ways, I think Chantel should be grateful that her subs didn't come through and that she's she can be here complaining about gas prices in Canada because if she didn't have a lot of money and she tried to fly out, she could be stuck in a hub somewhere. And they don't care. <laughs> the airlines don't feel like responsible canada not responsible you are going to be responsible to find your way back home get your flight out pay for whatever hotel you need you know they're not in situations like this where it's not actually the fault of the airline i don't think they have to provide you with any type of compensation like hotels or food or all this other stuff because I used to do stuff like that. Like if a flight got delayed or something happened, they would give people like hotel rooms and food. I don't even know if they do that stuff anymore. I have no idea. I haven't flown in so long because I really don't, you know, care for like that. But am I, so she's lucky. She's lucky she's not there because I don't think she would have been able to get there. And so it, her being here is probably 
her, I mean, if anything, she got lucky that she got out. And it was just through absolute, with this girl, sheer blind luck. Because there could be potential that, you know, some of our countries could stop recommending to people that it's better for them to get out of that region until things, you know, you just don't know. Uh, and this isn't obviously a political channel, you know, but Chantel should not be complaining about gas prices, okay? And with everything that's going on out there, girl, get ready for gas prices to get effing worse. She really has no idea about how the world works. So, you know, all of us should be prepared for these gas prices. And the fact that she just, I still cannot believe that she was telling the audience that content creators deserve to get paid. And she charges probably one of the highest membership tier prices for probably one of the lowest quality membership channels to be a member of. She's probably not done anything new as far as a emoji or anything to her, you know, chats or audiences or anything. And then sort of almost seemed to complain that she only made $37. And we don't even know how much truth is behind that. You know, it's just all of it. And then she's, you know, probably upset that gas prices because her family aren't going to float her. We don't know if she's still sending money to the catfisher over in in Kuwait. She's not going to be back in Kuwait anytime soon. <laughs> Tell you that much. So she's going to be probably living in her Kia or her Motel 6. She's going to have something because she's not going to be, she's not, they're not, she's not going to be able to go back as a Canadian citizen. They're not going to let her fly back in like that. Can if they're in danger during times of war, so she could test the fear of being too large to give. <laughs> yeah, she's she should be grateful. She's just in a safe country near her family and that free health care she doesn't pay for. Get your taxes filed. It's the last day today, Chantel. <laughs> you know, she's yeah, exactly. She needs to be grateful. You, you know, and now she's got Julia and and little Howie. There with Salah is now responsible because she can't get back into Kuwait at this moment. If she thinks she's she's getting back into Kuwait, she's got another thing coming. Because they're not flying planes into that region at the moment. So how's this, how's this 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 heifer gonna get herself back over to Kuwait? She's not. And she's gotta file her taxes today. So Chantel, file your taxes, girl. Because you probably owe a lot. And it's to the Canadian government that you're getting that health care from. That your uh, compatriots, sorry, I was speaking Spanish, compatriots are paying for, for you. Stop running around, elevating your blood sugars, getting nasty stuff, you know, and then complaining to your subscribers about the cost of gas. When there's about to be a, a real situation going out for people to about to be affected in other parts of the globe. Really affected. Really affected girl. So selfish. She's so selfish. Sorry. I've just lived in so many different places. So I just I try to always think about how, you know, it's not just us, just like how these people are feeling out there and the matter how scared and petrified they are too. You know? We got this this girl trying to scam money off of hard working people. And uh, complain about gas prices in a, in a free country. You keep. You no, know, we're all feeling the same pain. So I just put some gas into my car and I'm ready to head to my appointment. It was pretty cold and rainy today. Eh. Great. That looks really great for a diabetic to eat. Just a big old salty bagel with some cream cheese. Way to go, Chantel. And what appointment is she complaining about? Did you hear that? She's like, oh, I got to go to my appointment. Ugh. Is that a medical appointment that's being paid for for free? That you're complaining about and you don't take care of your health? Girl, you really are the worst out there, okay? 
I've had to watch people literally cry in the country that I reside in because they can't continue with certain things that they want to do because their insurance won't cover it. And they don't have enough money to pay for it out of pocket, like cardiac rehab and stuff after massive cardiac events. And they can't even get the support because it's going to cost them 30 some dollars out of pocket every time they walk in. And it's three to three visits a week. And they don't have an extra 90 bucks a month a week. So I don't want to hear you bitching about a free healthcare appointment if it's a healthcare appointment. Because you've got a lot of your compatriots who watch this channel and other channels who think you're just disgusting because you're using their money to take care of your poor health. You're the worst. You really are about the, the, the epitome of a, a true taker in our society. It's just all take for Chantel. It's no give. What does this woman give? What charitable acts did we see her perform during Ramadan? Can we name one charitable act? And I'm not talking about supporting that scat bot husband of hers, because we don't call that charity around here. That's a scam. Keep going with your bagel, girl. <gasps> no wedding ring? She had to pawn that. Oh. Okay, and I'm just going to preface this, okay? No wedding ring? She, who knows? Okay, this woman is eating food in the most disgusting manners seen to mankind because there is a very big theory going around that this content is for her, her fetish folk, okay? This is her fetish content. So when she's sitting there and licking her chops and trying to look like she's this, you know, sexy, you know, alluring woman, when she's eating this food and literally killing herself with it, because that's what these fetish people like to do, because they like to watch, they basically fetish out. And I'm just going to be honest. And this is Sunday vibe. It doesn't seem like a Sunday topic, but Chantel bringing it out here. Um, so yeah, you're going to get horrified. And people are always wondering why she eats like that. Because it's that's how she uh, makes her other money, because the money isn't coming from YouTube, guys. Okay? And, uh, She's gotten like, so they they probably get off on her being on a public platform and doing this. That's why she's not doing it in a private chat room. But she's in chat rooms, I'm sure. And someone's paying for this content. Someone paid for that Barbarito content too. It's disgusting. You're nasty. Now I know. And notice when she's drinking that what she doesn't need to be drinking, which looks like orange juice, which is like, girl, are you having hypoglycemia? Why are you taking all that juice and sugar down? You're going to be back in the hospital with elevated blood sugars. HHS. <laughs> I wonder if she had HHS. So that's uh, it's a hyperglycemia, hyperosmolality status. And, you know, that was going on on top of anything else, you know. But uh, the way she held the bottle is like she looks like she's drinking from a baby's bottle. And that's, again, part of the fetish content. And we hate to say it, but it's getting worse because it's the only way she's got to do it to make money. So she's going to be popping out a lot of that sort of mukbang fetish content. Because she got to make some money. Because where is she going to be living? She don't have money for a down deposit. Somebody wrote to me and said it's $2,000, like, for the average apartment in Cornwall. I don't think Foodie got 2000 and you know, and then you've got to get, like, a month down, an extra month. And she got no way to get it anyway. She got no credit history. She got oh, bankruptcy. Like she got trash credit. Guru by <laughs> any means. And I could be doing a lot better. But... I just enjoy, you know, the nature and going for a walk here and there. Nothing special. Hey guys, so we're out here just going for a walk. And uh, yeah, it's kind of rainy, blew me out.
but it's like sprinkling, so it's all right. Looks like a haunted forest or something. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Oh no, she's got to go out and 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 take exercise in the woods. Oh, don't you feel sorry for her? I feel so sorry for her at this time. You know, must be a hard life putting out this low grade content that she does. And she's so unhappy about everything. Uh, Cause she did not get enough money out of that PayPal that she thought, I guess in the past she's done a lot better from these schemes, but you know, times are a change in Chantel. The, the economy is different. You, you cannot just be expecting for people to do stuff. And then you don't even give quality to your audience. Gosh. All right. Keep complaining about your, your walk in the nice free country that you live in. Protected by your taxes that you don't pay. All right. I walked for about 15 minutes. Now I'm just going to head back. Gosh, she sounds so healthy. <laughs> 15 minutes. Way to go, Chantal. Uh, make it 30, okay? Or, or, or is she, okay, other plot twist here. Is she trying to show that she's taking care of her health so she can try to pull one over on her supposed doctors when she goes to this appointment? Is she trying to show that she's all on, on oh, her teeth look terrible. This is terrible. Oh, my gosh, girl, you need a dentist. You do not need to be back in Kuwait. You need to get serious dental care. You're going to give yourself an abscess. And then you could give yourself a cardiac, like a endocarditis or something. Just caution. I wonder if she's just trying to, like, show off for the doctors coming up. Like, oh, yeah, I got walking. Whatever, girl. So she can try to get this weight loss surgery. Since she may be realizing she may not be getting to Kuwait anytime soon. Girl, are you still paying for that man's apartment out there in car? You're a fool. Yeah, she looked knackered. Yeah, knackered. Absolutely. Dead horse. Mm. Oh, what's Kimberlina said? Oh, she's high? Huh? See, good to catch, Kimberlina. I guess being a nurse, we see so many people on, on uh, controlled narcotics. Sometimes it's hard to recognize. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she high. I'm sure Chantel high. That was one of the, the, the rumors as to how she ended up in New York, is that the island, Cornwall Island, you cross through to get to New York. And understandably, I understand this has very inexpensive uh, uh, Mary Jane products there. And so it is possible. Oh, yeah. For Chantel to get out and walk, she has to be high. In Kuwait, it was palm trees. Here, it's pine trees or balsam trees. You guys, check out this quote from today's page on my agenda. Very often a change of self is needed more than a change of scene, A.C. Benson. Isn't that true? So since I started... Okay. Anyone in Canada, what's HR? She says she has an HR appointment at 845. HR. Is that human resources? Is she getting a job? What's going on? That isn't her writing? Okay. Oh, uh, the fact, yeah. Uh, her gloves are bleeding. Oh, gosh, I don't even... Uh, human resources? Well, that's what I thought, too. Let's go back. Let's take a quick peek see at this. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm like... Because she said she had an appointment, and she was complaining. And the only thing I see in the appointment in here... And, and, and Chantel out here with a to-do planner now. She is so unhappy. She is so miserable. She is super miserable. 
she is so miserable with the idea that she needs to actually act like a functioning member of society and <laughs> have appointments to go to and stuff. I get it, girl. It can get overwhelming, but you don't have a home with a lot of other stuff going on. So you don't, you're not managing a bunch of stuff. You're just managing you with nothing going on. You and the Kia. That's it. Let's go back. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so she's got something here. <laughs> let's take a look at what she got going on. Uh, she's got, uh, she's, she's on the Pinterest quotes. So that's always good. Because these girlies, they need motivational quotes. Without motivational quotes, these girls can't do shit. <laughs> Pardon my French. I seem stressed, Stacey. It's it's because I I supposed to be at a party, <laughs> and I'm not ready to go. <laughs> and I was supposed to be at a party like 30 minutes ago with my friends, and my friends always tease me for being late, and I'm going to be really late today because um, obviously I'm streaming. And uh, this is how I make, uh, you know, pulse of, you know, since I'm kind of taking a break from my work, this is like my, my way. And I have a lot going on. It's just a lot going on. <laughs> and uh, it just, it's amazing. <laughs> and that's why I laugh at someone like Chantel, because she doesn't really have a lot going on. So she's got a lot of time to get things sorted out. I'm trying to fix up a, a home for sale. and. Uh, I don't have any help. It's a lot of work. So, yeah. And I've lived in this house for 20 some years. So it's 20 some years of stuff in here. So it's not like it used to be when I could fly in and out of a, a place in a day. You know? HR can be related to a visa in Canada? Hmm. What would that be the acronym for? So, yeah, I need to calm down today. You are right. You're right, Stacy Lee. I am a little stressed today. I had a fence blow down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just, yeah, it happens to us all. You know, I'm a human just like anybody else. And uh, just when you got a lot to manage, which is why when I sort of see someone like Chantel, it's like, girl, this is what you, this is, you don't have any other big responsibilities. You have no big responsibilities at 40 years old. You haven't even really been responsible for taking care of your health or paying for any of that. When I think about the amount of money that we here in the United States have to spend in order to care for our health, just to try to stay healthy with the dentists and everything else and the cost of seeing doctors and labs and this, that, and the other, it is astronomically high. It's so high. And so it just amazes me, you know, anyway. All right. 8.45 is usually her bedtime. Oh, gosh. Well, now where is she going to live? Your fence fell over too, Grace? Yeah, it's not fun. It's really not fun. And it was blowing down yesterday when I was in the middle of my live stream. <laughs> and my dog was barking at it. And then my friend decided to pull a April Fool's joke on me, which I was not in the mood for at the time. And then I had to catch up with my friends. And I thought I was, you know, going to be there for a short amount of time. But of course, you know, I'm a chatter. <laughs> so I got to my friend's house. And probably like two or three hours later, I was gone out of my friend's house. So, you know, <laughs> unlike Chantel, I actually have friends. Okay. So let we got going on here. So she said she was going to walk for 30. But she said she only did 15. So she needs to cross the 30 out and change that to 15. <laughs> uh, what else we got going on here? She said she had a bagel, cream cheese, and OJ, which is nothing that somebody who is a unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetic like Chantel should be having. <laughs> that does not seem, especially the OJ girl. Bagels, sodium, cream cheese. Ah, seriously. Yeah, she got yeah, she got 15 in. She wrote 30 here though. Now, is this somebody else? Now, somebody said this isn't Chantel's 
handwriting. Is somebody else writing this for her too? Is she that inept? But she needs her like on her mom or somebody else to actually write this down. <laughs> this is why she rages. Well, good. Let's uh, let's help her rage because she's trying to scam people out of money. So we'll help her. At this rate, maybe we'll get her to an aneurysm. I'm just teasing. Um, here she says she's got a few dill rice cakes. A few. Is that three? <laughs> a few dill rice cakes. So girl here is still trying to get that pickle in there. <laughs> and then HR at 845 in Ottawa. I want to know what HR is. That is her handwriting. Health review. <gasps> is that what that would be, Anita? Is that what is that is that something they do in Canada? Tell me about this. Is this something they do in Canada? Any of my Canadians? These health reviews, would that be to go back to Kuwait? Or is that something to do with like the Canadian healthcare system? You think it's her visa issues, Bella? Well, she's not going to be getting anywhere at the moment. There's all hell's breaking loose out there. They're not flying anything into that at the moment. I don't know if anything on that status has changed. Because uh, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, some days you just have to keep away from the news, you know, because it just gets, you know, you still have to stay aware, but there are days where you, you do take a break. So maybe it's visa related. Hmm. I would be curious. I have no health review. And maybe that's to do with her visa. Interesting. She's going to fail miserably. Come on, Jamie. She's the epitome of health. Girls out here taking her 30 minute, 15 minute walk, eating her bagel cream cheese OJ. Which is just great for an unmanaged type 2 diabetic. And then she's eating a couple of rice cakes in there. It looks very healthy. You see all this fruit in here? There's the OJ. See all the vegetables? <laughs> Balanced meal here for breakfast? Uh, health review appointment for weight loss surgery. Looks like the beginning of the process. I know. Which is it? Which is she doing? Because she's very unhappy. So that's what I'm trying to curiously figure out here. Is she unhappy because she knows she's going to have to actually do work to get this surgery? And it's just not going to be the way she was talking about it with her Beezers that she just get on a plane to, to Mexico and, you know, get some, some surgery in Baja. You know, you know, just like, you know, walk out like that and, and, and glowed up just because, you know, that's how it happens in the real world. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, no, no, no. Jamie, she's going <laughs> to. Yeah, she's. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to do great. She, you know, she's. I'm sure her blood pressure going to look wonderful. You know, I'm sure she's her diet. Her blood sugar is under control. Especially she's eating the bagel cream cheese and OJ. She isn't a candidate because she has a bingo disorder. Well, no. She, well, well, if she says she doesn't, there's certain, plenty of evidential proof that she says she does. <laughs> so, yeah. Health review for the Canadian health care. Well, isn't it that I've heard, too, that uh, you would need to get... Um, well, she said she had an appointment on the 18th, and tomorrow is not the 18th. So I we don't know what the dates are for this. She, the big baby trying. The one heart, the one appointment I remember she said she had was I thought a mental health on the 18th. So maybe medical clearance to fly. Well, she's not gonna be flying anywhere, crab apple. All that international airspace has been closed down. She'll be flying to a fl hub in Europe and having to stay in a hotel. I don't think she's going to want to do that. It'd be very expensive. Yeah, rule number one. Yeah, lying. Do you have, you have to do therapy? 
oh, Jamie, they may not think that you're a candidate because then you may not be able, because it's very, you can't, if you have an issue like that and then you'd go through that issue post weight loss surgery, you actually could do harm to your organ. So it's not like something like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I just eat this. You actually could cause a catastrophic event. So they're not going to want to risk people who have a tendency to have more of a psychiatric disorder that maybe needs to be addressed other than just maybe a portion management thing. So I think that's something that, and I don't do weight loss, but I would be thinking that they have to, to discern between who just needs to understand like portion control and who just needs to understand, um, you know, who's got a disorder that could potentially risk the patient post-surgery and could do the patient then harm. And they're not going to want to do that. One, you've just, especially with somewhere like Canada, where you are using taxpayers' money to fund these surgeries, because these people aren't paying private out of pocket. So I'm thinking that they would be even more strict to follow the, the regimens for countries where your country's resources are paying for your surgery. So I don't think someone like Chantal, who has no control over her food, would ever be a candidate. Shit. All they have to do, the therapist, is take a look at her content, and they would know. 18 was for the mental health. Yeah. And uh, Lone Bear, hi, I looked up Canada Advisory to, to Kuwait. Very interesting. I always knew HR as human resources. I'm a Canadian, but in the West. Oh, thanks, Lone Bear. So are they able to travel out to Kuwait? Or is there an advisory? Is there an advisory at the moment? Uh, doctors require you to lose weight first before attempting. Yes. She has a blood clotting history. Yeah, she is not a great surgical candidate. One, her blood sugar is not under control, which means her healing is terrible. She's got any cardiac issues, promise you. Anything going on with the heart, nixed out. That's it. You are not good. They're not going to risk you. You're going to have to fix whatever in the heart first. So if she's got any cardiac issues, that's it. You are but you are not going through, at least here in the U.S., there's no anesthesiologist or surgeon who's going to risk putting you under. So that's why they have the one doctor that has, who does the weight loss surgeries, that they have the 600-pound life and Dr. No, and that's why he's so known, because they really have to have a team that understands working with those types of patients. It's just not something that anybody can just, you know, it's a, it's a lot more, I think, I think unless you actually have experience working in the medical industry, I had people writing in that the emergency room probably just took a look at Chantel and guessed she had norovirus. And that made me think, you really just think that you walk into emergency rooms and we're guessing what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, unfortunately, there are a lot of rapid tests that are used and they can create a lot of false positive results. And that can be an issue. But just to say that, that, you know, people are just guessing. I mean, we are beyond that in medicine now. Anyway, so we, yeah, the Dr. No, yeah, he's the best. Weight loss surgery here in Ontario won't deny you if you cannot have the surgery. It then becomes a non-surgical program. If you cannot have, it then becomes, okay. So what you're saying is that obviously you can be part of the program, the difference is, is in her part of the program, it would focus on uh, diet and exercise to reduce the weight rather than, and maybe medications like Wagovi or any of these new uh, medications to help with weight loss rather than the surgical route. Because she she's really not a candidate for surgery, in my professional opinion, just looking at her at this point at that, that age. And just the way she rolls in and out. Diabetic blood clot. Yeah, extremely dangerous. Right. And then she's got fatty liver disease. I mean, if you, she's already got an organ that's not, that's already, that compromised liver, I think, would take her out. You know? And then she's so close to becoming like dialysis because of the diabetes. You know, I'm sure her kidney 
filtration rate is terrible too. So I don't think so. You're a heart patient. Exactly. Exactly. Unicorn blow. Yes. My, my experience has been all in cardiac nursing <laughs> and I have had to deal with, I've had to take a lot of patients when I worked in uh, the cath area uh, who were getting, trying to get their clearances for surgeries. And uh, often would find out they had blocked arteries and stuff, you know, trying to get their clearance for orthopedic and all this stuff. And yeah, unless your cardiologist says that you to go. I've seen people, older folks who have had to go through um, all sorts of different surgeries just to get a hip replacement in, and go through cardiac rehab programs with their hips killing them. Anyway, all right. So HR, it's either a health review or we don't think Chantel out here getting a job. And I don't think it could be for a visa at this point with what everything that's going on. I think that her family, now that she, I, that, this is what I think. I think her family was telling her that she really didn't need to address her health issues and her mental health issues when she came back to Canada. They can't not be seeing some of her content and, and things that are said. And seeing the, the size she is and the health and how she is. And I think for whatever reason, it has, she was trying to get some money because she didn't make enough to get back to Kuwait as fast as she could. I don't think she knew what was happening out in the Middle East. She just wanted to get back home because she really doesn't want to do the work to address these issues. She's a very non-compliant person. I think she just wants to stick it into the back of her head and think she's still the queen of this, that, and the other and eating her mukbangs and doing all that facial expression like she did with that bagel and doing all that stuff and uh, that she's still that person, that she's not got these issues to have to deal with, which are a lot. And I'd be pretty petrified if, if I had that much going on. So I think, right, well, she can't get back to Kuwait without the visa either, but I don't think she she saw all these obstacles. So when she was announcing she's just going back to Kuwait, I think in her mind, she that's what she wanted to do. Despite what's come up now is all the obstacles now to her return. And she obviously, she couldn't stay there because she was out of her tourist visa. She'd get in more trouble. So she had to get out. And we all know she came out probably back home to get birthday presents. And her family probably, you know, and she probably said to her family, oh, yeah, I'll get all these health appointments, take care of myself, body bar, you know, and all this, that, and the other with no intention really of doing it and then try to get money fast from her audience so she could get a plane and hightail it out so she wouldn't have to face any of this stuff and just, you know, lie to her family that she was intending to do all this stuff and that's why they were giving her birthday presents or whatever. I don't know. We're just speculating. Because, you know, because she seems very unhappy that she has to do these appointments. I mean, she's acting like a petulant child who's, you know, got to get her mom taking her to a six-month dental checkup. <laughs> oh. So since I started using a planner, like actually using it, <laughs> I find that it really helps my anxiety um for some reason i don't know but i find it like comforting i have a little evening routine where i like you know just wind down getting pjs comfy pjs that i got from pennington's <laughs> and uh, i don't think i showed you guys those yet on my pajama set i'll have to do that anyways um and then i just plan for like whenever the next day some more things i think of for the week you know um, yeah, I'm trying to make the most out of this visit and get enough things done. So, yeah. And quick health update, you know, alhamdulillah that I think I'm completely rid of this flu virus. It's not a flu that stays very long. It's like only a few days. So, yeah, but I feel 100% better and yeah, I'm feeling good. So can't complain but yeah so actually i have a um pizza. none of us care none of us care no we do we, we're glad to hear you feel better foodie we're bringing you flowers girl we're bringing you flowers i didn't realize that she was a great planner 
Uh, well, she didn't plan out so well because that 30 minute walk became 15. So, and she's got this, uh, she's got her new, like, oh, I'm so sweet voice. You know, the, she's trying to get back, I guess, with the people that aren't familiar with her content that are still hanging on as subscribers. <sighs> and so she's still got plans to get to Kuwait. But I think this video was made before all the events going out around there. So, girl, you may have to put that plan off on hold for a little bit. I'm sure her family are not thrilled with the idea that she might be staying longer. <laughs> it's a date with my aunt uh, for lunch. And we are going to get together and make cauliflower crust pizzas. Don't remember what cauliflower crust tastes like or if I've ever had it. I'm not sure. But cute dog running around in the background. Um, I'll show you guys what it turns out to be like and how good it is. There's going to be pineapple on it, but I'm actually kind of craving that. So I don't. Somebody brought up something really good because uh, I don't like to take credit. Here it is. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie says, why no more live streams, foodie? I know. I'm curious, too. <laughs> I guess she would have to call, shut off all of her chat almost or make it members only. But uh, she doesn't even give stuff like that to her members of her channel. Oh, she's trying to make out that. Girl, you're in a world of hurt out there. She's not just a bad planner. She's a liar with accessories. Yeah, that's a scam journal. She's got to plan her scams out in there. Like, uh, today we're going to go online and tell everybody that I have now got to stay in Canada. And can you please, please help me with setting up my apartment? Because at 40 years old, it's the rest of the globe's responsibility. To put me in a home. <laughs> oh, girl. Mm. Planner. The only thing you plan is how you can scam people out of money, girl. That's it. That's it. Where's the where's that in the planner? Somebody needs to do a Photoshop and then put over the top of it, because I'm not a graphics person. You know, something about plan to scam subscribers out of their money for a fraudulent apartment scheme. What day did that fall on? I don't mind. Sometimes I crave it. I know. I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Yella. Well, this is just about the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Pretty close. Anyway, there are Canadian geese that are nesting because it is nesting season. And they are choosing interesting places this year to nest. I've never seen this before. Does this girl purposely try to give Cornwall the worst look possible? I mean, not that the Canadian geese aren't cute, okay? We get a ton of Canadian geese here in Virginia Beach. We got them all the time. Uh, but she, I mean, that's cute, but why did she show the trash cans? At first I thought I was just looking at trash cans. <laughs> and one of the trash cans she potentially vomited in. <laughs> when she rolled around uh, Cornwall. And uh, I guess Typhoid Miriam wants everyone to know she's not spreading disease anymore. Oh, well, girl, are you washing your hands? Did you hot wash any of those clothes? Have you bleached out that Kia? Because Kia looks as filthy as ever. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That <laughs> poor geese even has its back to her. But some of them are nesting in um, fast food driveways and some are nesting in parking lots and in places you just wouldn't expect them to and they just like stay there and they nest and they sit on their Girl, what do you mean i see every canadian geese like right along like the shopping area at hilltop here in virginia beach there's like a whole gaggle of them what are you talking about Shit, you gotta slow down everywhere because like Canadian geese are like literally everywhere. <laughs> they always like that they do like they like the side of the roads for some odd reason. You'll see them like sitting, like a huge flock of them, just like <laughs> will be like in the middle of a highway, like in the like the grassy area. Like the geese, <laughs> geese are following the highways. <laughs> Eggs for a few weeks. Now one was right in the middle of a you know, LCBO parking lot 
and you see the mother goose nesting and the male is just standing vigil protecting it and there's a gate put by the government by the city and a sign warning people not to approach it because they can be very um protective anyway it was so cute what a what a shocker canadian government has said stay back don't go near them wild animals nesting and then what we got chantal over here right up on these geese of course it's a wild animal you've been told not to go too close and that's already uh, automatic permission for this girl to go pester the wildlife. <laughs> Cannot believe it. All right, girl, continue. And early spring has some beautiful plants and trees <laughs> budding and the flowers are growing. It's so nice. Uh, I'm sorry. That was the just no. That's not. There's one little tree outside a house. I guess that's some the family member's house or something. I, I I hope she didn't dox anybody like that. I mean, it's it's not quite up there with like the cherry blossom festival in Washington D.C., girl. But okay, live your truth up there. I'm not saying, but what I'm just saying is, I'm sure there are far more appealing and attractive spots in, in Cornwall because Canada is beautiful. And Chantel just out here picking the wildest stuff that's close by to film in order to fill, you know, 10 minutes and 54 seconds of this video of which she didn't really say what that HR appointment was. It's funny that. I guess she just wants people talking about it. But whatever it is, you're probably going to fail. All right, and here are the small pizzas ready to eat with the uh, cauliflower crust. They look so good. Yeah. You guys, right. the crusts are from Farm Boy, by the way. They're pre-made. They're gluten-free, and they are... Oh, I'm so glad we're so healthy. Now we're eating keto. Because now I got cauliflower crust. And I got cheese on it. And we homemade it. No. Sorry. Still got all that fatty freaking cheese on it, girl. You don't need any more cholesterol in your bloodstream. You already ate down that cream cheese earlier. She's this, you know, God. I cannot with that keto craze stuff. I mean, I know a lot of people do it, but <laughs> it's a lot of times, you know, fad diets, you know, uh, as long as you're being monitored by your healthcare provider and they understand what you're doing and they can monitor your labs. But just, I, I I know for some it works, so I don't want to be harsh, but, oh, God. That looks undercooked, too. I mean, look how, how, how that cheese is just, that doesn't even look fully cooked. That looks wet. That looks like, that's why, that's why pizzas never, when you make them at home, are never the same like out of a pizza oven. You know, I, I get a vegan pizza from a bakery. They do the best sauerkraut dough on it, and it's loaded with vegetables. It's so good. It's really good. All homemade, all like locally sourced veggies and stuff. It's a treat. Um, it looks way better than that. Oh, look at healthy girl here. Oh God, I'm sorry. It just doesn't delicious. look fully cooked. Like they have a bite and a flavor yes. to them. It's so good. I would eat this again. And a few hours later, for like right. an evening snack, we have some lime tortilla chips and some garden fresh salsa. This girl, she can still can't keep away from some type of, you know, carbohydrate type substance. Because even the chips, girl, they're going to be corn or whatever. It's still, you know, grain. I guess if it's corn tortillas, it's a grain, I guess. But still, it's like, she's like bagels. I just, oh. I mean, the salsa looks good, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love salsa and chips. But we're talking about Chantel and, and, and what she does dietary-wise. If this is this girl trying to prove to her health review people that she got her shit together, they got a shot coming.
She's see, she's trying to make up now. Okay, look at this bullshit here. Okay, pardon my French on a Sunday. She is trying to now, I guess, gonna go into these health review people and they ask her what she had the day before to eat, and she describes this shit, and then they're looking at her. You know, why don't you just be honest, foodie, and tell them that you took down like a a Saint. Herbie's uh, mukbang the other day and was like literally drinking gravy from a cup because you're trying to you think you're going to pull a fast one on a healthcare provider when you walk in there and tell them that you eat like this every day and they take a physical look at you and take a look at your lab work and take a look at your blood pressure and you'll they, you, they'll know girl that you're lying through your effing teeth because your lab work will say it your blood pressure will say it. Your blood sugars will say it. Your goddamn hemoglobin A1C is definitely going to say it. If they pulled that bitch in the hospital the other day, I want to know what that was. Because you didn't tell anybody what your A1C was because it's probably out the roof. Because you haven't done anything to manage your diabetes in the last ever. <laughs> and you want to go in and try to tell these healthcare workers that you're eating cauliflower crust pizza and taking 15 minutes of daily walks? Kiss my ass, bitch. Sorry, guys, but that's the sort of nonsense that we deal with in the healthcare system. And this girl is trying to pull it on free healthcare because she don't want to face that. She don't want someone telling her that your health is like garbage. And I don't mind because she's not my patient. I know I've had people tell me, oh, my mom's a doctor. She wouldn't talk to people like that. How are you going to be mean about people like that? Because Chantel is a disaster and using up and misusing a healthcare system that's been provided to her free by her country. And that, to me, is the most negligent use of people's other people's resources. Got to tell people you're eating fucking cauliflower pizza. Pardon my French, everybody. I don't usually use the F word. But this is ridiculous because that's what this 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 setup is, okay? She's going to go in there with her little planner. Look at me. And they're going to see that she has orange juice and a type 1, 2 diabetic. And know this girl's smoking crack. Keep going, Chantel. All right, guys. So for visuals for this <gasps> segment of the video, I decided to use a variety of clips. But I, I did. want to talk about oh, thank wanting you, to go one Let thing my I've super chat. been Thank really you. struggling with the past few times. <gasps> I'm sitting here on my, my Chantel page. See, I'm not like Chantel. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Werta. And thank you, my subs, for my mods for having my back. Because I think one person, see, I'm not like her. I'm not looking for money. I'm telling, I'm trying to keep people safe. Mrs. Werta says, when I get low, I think at least I'm not Chantel. <laughs> I think that's something that we can all be grateful for. I know, even when I sometimes think when I have all my chaos that has me stressed out in my life, because it happens and we all get stressed. Um, the, you know, I just think to myself, you know, at least I'm not Chantel. And you know what? I was thinking about that the other day, Mrs. Muerta. When I was thinking about the fact that, yeah, I'm stressed out about stuff, but I'm stressed out because I have stuff to be able to be stressed out about. You know, I'm in a fortunate position that, you know, I can't control things in the economy at any time where I can potentially now sell the place that I live in. And I have enough equity I have built up in this place over the last 20 years of staying stable and making sacrifices to pay this mortgage and not get vacations or holidays or Amazon hauls or all this other stuff in order to now hopefully be able to turn around and go out into the country somewhere. Uh, Cause Virginia and North Carolina has some beautiful areas in the country and hopefully buy a place outright and get some more dogs and do the stuff that I love to do. And Chantel doesn't have that opportunity because all that money that she got from, from people complete strangers on the internet, which was quite a lot, she just wasted it. Wasted it on these guys who are never going to love her, which is, to me is really sad. You know, because I saw, I had a girlfriend go through exactly what Chantel did with that, with getting 
you know, wrapped up in spending, you know, literally an inheritance on these guys. Like my friend wouldn't even buy me breakfast for my birthday for six bucks, but she would take two guys and completely pay for a surf trip. If that tells you. She's not my friend now. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. This is this is her. Oh, look. Oh, God. She's getting something done on her hands. Oh, okay. Is she getting henna or something? Oh, that's okay. Oh, no. You're all right, Mrs. Muerta. You're fine. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm not sad about that. I mean, it. I'm not sad. I mean, I, you know, live in a really nice place. And uh, I'm happy now that I've been able to stay steady and have this as an investment. And now I get to sell it and take the proceeds and buy something completely outright and not have a mortgage and not have any worries. Something that Chantel can't say because she talk, she jokes about living in her Kia. Whereas my goal is now, that's why I probably sound stressed just because I need to stop fix cleaning up the after 20 years of living somewhere, fixing up a place and clearing stuff up and getting all this stuff put into a pod or whatever and getting it staged in order to sell and still try to, you know, work the channel and, you know, just it's a lot, it's a lot. Anyway, let's not talk about me. We're here for Chantel's lies. She's getting henna. Okay. But I guess talking about it, it's, it's what I'm seeing from this journal and all this. That's what she's going to take in. I wonder how many days she filled ahead of time. Take into, I guess, her HR appointment to show that she's on track. Because she's out doing, you know, because it looks like it's showing things that she's doing to take care of her health. Like walking her food, you know, all this stuff. Girl, you don't, you're not going to pull the wool over their eyes. <laughs> your labs say everything. And one day of you correcting your behaviors, that's not going to correct those labs. Okay. Maybe some, some basic metabolic panel or something, but some of the other ones, it's not going to change them, girl. I've come and gone back and forth between Canada and the Middle East Why? is the inability to express my feelings regarding Why? the reasons the trips have been happening. And so I decided to try and organize my thoughts a bit. And here's what I came up with. Number one, of course, there is the obvious. I am chronically impulsive. And yes, it is very oh. annoying. Oh. Besides that, imagine you are who you are, and a big part of you. I'm glad you clarified, Ms. Wurtz, because I could I can take these off on all sorts of different tangents. Yeah, she PayPal scammed for thirty seven dollars, and we don't even know if it was thirty seven. That could have been a lie. <laughs> or she could have been telling the truth. Who knows? Oh, look at the kitty cat. Oh, this is Julia. So now I guess we're going to focus because. Uh, Chantel's going to give us all the reasons why she keeps traveling so much because she has different reasons other than what the uh, immigration policies are in Kuwait. <laughs> Was shaped by the culture and society you were brought up in. Now imagine that unexpectedly you fall in love and get married and spend a great amount of time integrating yourself in your new significant other's culture and that <laughs> who is she telling these lies for you met someone and you fell in love girl he catfish scammed you off of global tender okay this guy is pulling a scam the unfortunate part of the scam he decided to pull is that he has to have you in the flesh. Most of these people, they try to just do it online and get people to send them money. But you are a special case that you need to get the full, like, soap opera treatment. So, I mean, for him to get your money, girl, he's has, he has to get you in the flesh. 
But there's no way that that young man, the way he looks so happy every time you fly out of town, it, it's just love. Girl, nobody believes that 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 oh, two weeks talking to somebody on global tender. The only people who believe stuff like that are people who get themselves in dumb situations like you, Chantel. Because <laughs> anybody who's anybody who's reasonable will tell anybody that if you just met a person and they're moving that fast into a relationship, that is a surefire sign that there's something wrong with the person. So that should have been surefire signs on both of your ends that there's something wrong with both of you individuals. <laughs> okay? God, ingrained in the culture. Don't even stop me on that, please. <laughs> you don't speak the language. You have no friends in the culture. You are still just no, no, and no again. Absolutely no. So keep telling your lies. This is great because we'll have a field day with this girl. God darn it. She's culture so deeply embraces the religion you now follow. So you start to feel like this is your home. Oh, yeah. But there are always things about your first home that you miss and probably always will. It's like a tug of war. It all comes down to both countries have pros and cons. My husband, my cat, my hamster are my immediate family now and I miss them in our seaside apartment. I miss the Middle Eastern culture. I know the heat in the summer is bad, but I will bear it. We will deal with obstacles. Uh, girl, you're going to be missing the Middle Eastern culture for, for a little bit longer, okay? Because I don't think you've got control over international airspace. <laughs> Just saying. So I don't know if you can even get over to Kuwait at the moment. There's an advisory. And I can promise you, if it continues, it's going to get crack it down even harder. Because there's no way that Canada is going to want to spend money fishing your fat oars out of Kuwait. Okay? You're not there for any type of missionary work. You're not there on a Peace Corps mission. You're not part of a uh, delegate of diplomats going out there to negotiate any type of peace deal. You're just a, a, a slovenly individual who found a global uh, romance scammer and has decided that she's going to park herself over there to avoid paying her taxes in her home country and any other forms of resp adult responsibility. I love this speech, though. Um, she obviously took some time writing this or just somehow write it. I, wonder, I, I think this sounds like the words of Chantal in my mind. Okay, keep going, girl. With the, with, trying to, to, you know bring in like 15 year olds who might believe that you're having a romance fantasy because past the age of 15 who can believe this as they come and we will do it together i miss hearing the call to prayer you know i never realized before how difficult it is to understand someone's life or decisions without being them without truly knowing what's going on in their mind and hearts. But I'm trying my best to explain. In the end, it all comes down to having to pick a place and sticking with it. And I truly, in the deepest crevices of my heart, want and need to be with my family in Kuwait and visit my family in Canada and not the other way around. I cannot make those who do not understand why I love the Middle East understand my reasons, so I won't even try, but I do. So all that being said, I really, really, really want to try harder than ever before. We know why you miss the Middle East, Chantel, because you could sit in your fault box paradise and ask people it's allowed to bring you fast food. And that's what you got to do all day. That was it. You had a place that you could live in because now you're living probably half in your Kia. And you had somebody who was willing just to bring you food probably doesn't question you a lot about anything. I mean, he seems to show some modicum of concern about your health, but not really because he still brings you fast food. So he doesn't even care about that. You just, you just pay his bills. And then on the other hand, what you get in return is supposedly a channel where you're a married, uh, revert woman, uh, living in Kuwait. 
which you fail at miserably at all times because you can't stay halal, you rage, you couldn't even, you know, show a modicum of modesty during Ramadan. So you just, and now you're here with this stuff, girl. And did you not read the room about just what blew off in the Middle East? And not to say that people are having a good time living, uh, that, that the Middle East is a bad place to live. There's just a lot of stuff going on over there that would make it maybe a little bit more precarious to travel. That's all I'm saying. They're not flying planes. <laughs> to do more content over there. More day in the life, more right. cooking, traveling, oh, shopping, no. parks, and more. That's true, Cam. I want to travel to many countries. Thailand was fun, and I want to live life to the fullest. Or maybe like two-thirds to the fullest. I like doing things, and I also like laying like a seal in my cozy bed with my family and doing literally nothing for a while. Honestly, another way I can describe all this is moving back here. Doing literally nothing for a while. That is probably the most true thing this young lady has ever said in her life. <laughs> Lying around like a seal. Girl, that's all you want to do. Even when the weather was supposedly a little bit better, you could be out there and not have to vlog and be out taking walks along that area. And it was pretty obvious you weren't getting out and exercising. You did nothing to improve anything about who you are intrinsically as a human being on that trip. And at the moment, I don't think you're going to get back out of there. So you might be getting more irritated about having to have health appointments for at least a week. But I, we'll see if you even show up to that. Because I, that must be a condition that your family are giving you to stay at the house, potentially. Because you're very unhappy and being a petulant child about having to do them. So that makes me think that there's been somebody's put a condition on your having to be at an appointment. Because I can promise you, when I've had medical appointments, and I finally have gotten a chance to get in and see the doctor after waiting for months. And that's here in the, supposedly the U.S. with good health care. It's still busy. There's still a limitation in the number of providers, especially when you live in a big city sometimes. That can be also hard. you got more access, but you also have a lot of people trying to get to that access so you can have wait times. Just, just how it goes. You're usually excited. You should be excited that you're actually going to have a chance to try to take care of your health. But that's not what this is. You're trying to fool your person, supposedly doing a review, that you've got all these changes in your lifestyle. After you've done it one day. And then all this stuff about the husband in Kuwait. I guess she just needed to produce some type of video because her content terrible and she's not making any money. <laughs> Here to Canada, it just doesn't feel like me anymore or who I want to become. Oh. And don't get me wrong, Canada is a beautiful Thank country. Thank you, Pat. And Canadian Thank you, Pat. No, I did not. Thank you. Let me catch this super chat. Thank you, Miss Pat, for being so good, taking care of me. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Did you? I catch the super chat from Fadna. No, I did not. Let me make sure I get Fadna's super chat. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I am on the. Let me make sure. Let me get this super chat. I'm so sorry. Starred. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for starring that. Thank you for my moderators. Gosh, I love you guys. Thank you, Fadma. Fadma says this vid is 100% manipulation tactic for weight loss surgery doctor. Absolutely. Just every. I mean, I, or, or even for the visa people, it sounds like she's written some type of like letter or something explaining why she wants to get back to Kuwait and potentially why maybe they should, uh, cause didn't she say that it takes a couple of years to get the surgery? So maybe she's trying to manipulate in her narcissistic way uh, the weight loss surgeon that, or the, the, the place that she needs to get, you know, much faster done because she needs to get back to her husband in Kuwait, you know, and, and we know she's going to fail horribly. Even if she did get, you know, spot number one, she probably wouldn't even show up. They could like move heaven and earth for this type of person. She's the type of person 
that they would move heaven and earth to get an appointment for to 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 because people in healthcare are really nice like that okay and we'll do stuff like that to help people out a lot of times some places you they just can't their hands are tied but a lot of times that you know people in healthcare are compassionate and so she's going to try to manipulate what is a very compassionate workforce which is really terrible so I like calling her out in some ways because I can't be this type of nurse when I'm working with my patients. I mean, I've had some come to Jesus moments with people before. Don't get me wrong. Especially diabetics, type twos. Those are the ones I've always had to have effing come to Jesus moments with about their health. Because most negligent, they really just don't seem to get. Because I think it's because we don't say people die from diabetes. Because it ends up being another event that's catastrophic that actually ends up having the patient pass away. But the underlying secondary condition, probably along with that the whole entire time, was unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. God, she's awful. I mean, she's this is manipulation 101 here. Thank you, Fadma, for that super chat. And Miss Murta and Bella tell you for all of and Miss Pat Ray and everybody. I finally found out how to find this stuff. <laughs> I'm getting better. Gosh. All right, Chantel, I got a party to get to, girl. Canadians are amazing. And it's not anything like that. Aww. It just feels like taking two steps back in life. I've also been through a lot of bad stuff here. I've been through good stuff and bad stuff here. What is she talking about this two steps back in life? What is she on about? I mean, I know what she's on about, okay? But, I mean, in the respect of being a thinking, logical adult, what is she on about, you know? Girl, she's like, and of course, every picture of we're seeing is either the cat or food. So it's just like heart string, you know? Girl. How can you you just know none of this? It's hilarious. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, a lot of us reacting channels have been getting really feeling quite irritated with this person because she's so manipulative. So this cash scamming scrub grubber has not only tried to manipulate her audience in giving her money for this, you know, apartment in Kuwait. She's now going to try to manipulate the healthcare system again to get her to be seen for her weight loss surgery, none of which she will accomplish or finish. So, Chantel, until you address your mental issues and you actually focus on those, which unfortunately I think with the type of issues you potentially have, it's never going to happen for you. You're never going to, you're always going to feel like you're going steps back, girl. Because you're so petulant, too. I mean, just, oh, my gosh. <laughs> her family, they, they, everyone just needs to let her fall on her ass. Her fam, her shmi needs to cut out at this point and just let her go. Really. These are the sort of children that you just can't, at the, this point of 40, and your child isn't able to p potentially even make a medical appointment or keep to it, because her family, her aunt probably driving her there. or That's probably why they're filling gas in the car, to make sure that she's got gas in the car to get to that appointment. Because Chantel will be looking for every excuse not to show up. And she's trying to get out of it by showing the doctors, now, oh, no, look at how good I do. Look, 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 I'm so good. And they're looking at this, like, probably 475-pound woman in front of them because they were basing the weight from the six liters from the doctors. So that's putting Chantel at a, about a 475 weight, which it's about what we look at when we see her walking around. So now that we can count, now that we know how many liters of fluid you got given for a dehydration, we can actually now calculate what they base that on your weight, Chantel. So good job, girl. You're about 475. And that's why I am having okay, some counseling while I'm here you. because. To try to just come to terms with Miss Kendra, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I really thank you. Thank you for the super sticker. Let me see what my little super sticker is. 
can I see what it looks like? What have I got? I can't. I can't. They don't show me in the 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 stream yard what the sticker looks like, and I don't have my screen up. Tell me what it looks like. No, I got. I'm gonna get better, guys. I promise. But I appreciate that super sticker so much, as Kendra. Kendra has been one of my longest supporters, guys. She came with me from the anti MLM world that brought me here because Chantel used to flog Unicity. Remember those days? <laughs> we haven't seen the Unicity out in the wild. What happened to that scam? Because MLMs are a scam too. So she was involved in that scam as well. I guess her downline, she couldn't get her subs to downline for like she hoped. I think she thinks that she has the Beezers that she had from two years ago that would go to bat for her on anything. Financially, you know, all of this stuff. And literally be like Chantel's posse. And I think Chantel's posse is not very big anymore. And now she's having to put out this manipulative stuff because we basically just called her a PayPal scammer, which she is. Why some of the bad feelings, you know, make me feel the way I do while I'm here. So anyway, I know my life is a roller coaster and most of you are dizzy, but I hate to tell you, and I'm so sorry, but we're going for another spin. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Look at Salau and his Ray-Bans. Uh, do we know if they're even real Ray-Bans? <laughs> Thank you, Kendra, to get to my policy. Let me take it off of this. Look, see, I've been looking at, uh oh tragedy update. I've been looking at puppies as we see uh, in the royal family. Okay. <laughs> you know, I got to keep up with the Kate Middleton. Very upset about that cancer diagnosis. Anyway, I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Miss Kendra. I really appreciate that. You thought she was near 600 pounds? Well, I mean, based on the sort of weight calculations uh, that Sansa's ER doctor was giving it, it, it put her potentially at around 475, <laughs> somewhere around there. So that seems about right because she's five five foot tall. I mean, there's only but so much. I mean, she's still walking. So, but uh, I think she's, uh, you know, and then she uses those elongated uh, filters too. So it's hard to know. Gosh, who did she make this video for? Because <laughs> it certainly wasn't her subscribers, was it? That sounded like stuff. It's, to me, this sounded like the health review. And then trying to get her visa back to Kuwait, maybe? Because it's so much about the husband and how she just wants to be there. And, I mean, so then why should Canada be responsible for paying for someone who doesn't pay her taxes, who has no intention of remaining living in Canada and wants to live in another country? So why should Canada be responsible to take care of this person's health? I mean, I understand she's a Canadian citizen. I understand. I mean, see, this is the difference of being in a place like the United States. Because, like, we just don't expect stuff for free like that. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's certain things that people think because they're born in the U.S., but it's not like you think that you're deserving of, like, health care from people because of it. You know, like, I'm going to come back to my home country. I'm going to use up the healthcare system that I don't pay taxes and don't pay towards. And then I'm going to try to manipulate people to help me get stuff that I need for me so I can get back to this guy. He's trying to scam my Canadian dollars out of me into another country. I mean, I, I'm just trying to figure out... <laughs> It's her documentary voice. Oh, I know. Yes, it's her scripted voice. She sounds so good. I can't. My, I try my scripted voice and then I get parched. And it's, it's much harder than you think. Yep. Canada won't keep your medical if you're gone for so long. We'll try bringing her husband to Canada. I, I mean, good luck with that, too. 
those sort of things are very expensive. And Chantel is not somebody who's like the uh, stellar member of society. I mean, she's somebody with a very bad, like, bankruptcy history and goodness knows, you know, not paying her taxes. So she is herself does not look like somebody who's very good to sponsor an individual from a part of the world that Canada already questions about coming into the country. So they are never coming. He's never coming. Th those two can fantasize about that all day. And I think she's just tries to manipulate. God, that voice. That really is just some class A manipulation there. All that stuff that we looked about with the narcissism and everything and that. She is just wild for it. She has no, no remorse. She has decided that, I mean, uh, she's just like tried to fraud, defraud people out of money and she has just moved right on. I, you know, I could not sleep with myself if I did something like that. You know, I, and like I said, I'm not somebody who's ever had a great deal of stuff, you know, like everything I, you know, people always assume that, you know, cause I'm a, you know, tall white girl that you know, everything got handed to me on a plate. And it was a very different times when we were growing up. Some of us Gen X's, you know, that's why a lot of these um, grunge rock artists and stuff have committed suicide. There were some pretty tough times. You know, we didn't, there, there was a lot of things that were happening through the 1970s with like uh, the economy and stuff that, you know, we experienced a lot more hardships, I think. And uh, I think it does help you to be appreciative of what you do have uh, when you have been through. And I don't think Chantel's been through a hardship yet. And I think her having this, you know, I just hope that the, the Canadian healthcare system doesn't, you know, fall for her. You know, I just hope, I hope they're just not, you know, but like I said, people in healthcare are compassionate. So it's easy that they could be manipulated by somebody like this just because they don't know who this person is, you know? So, and it's a sad, it's sad because somebody would probably put a lot of effort in to help somebody who doesn't deserve it because i know how much time and effort i've spent sometimes doing some certain things for patients above and beyond what has been required of my job and uh you, you, you the unrecognized work that goes on i know that bella probably does the same too and anybody that compassionately cares about the work that they do and the ethics that they have have all done it, you know, but this person is just really about the worst. All right, guys, I've been here much longer than I thought. I really do appreciate all of the people who contributed today. I didn't expect so many uh, thanks, but I really do appreciate it more than you realize. Uh, me growing this channel gives me an opportunity to, sorry, I'm getting a little bit, I need to have a sip of water. Hold on. So I try not to drink what the whole entire time that I'm on camera because I don't want to be rude to people. I realize the microphone is really close and I know that people can be very sensitive to sounds and stuff. So I'm very aware of that. So sometimes I start to get a little parched. <laughs> um, but thank you to uh, Mrs. Muerta, to Fadma and to Miss Kendra for the super chats and thanks and everything. And I always want to thank my mods Miss Bella Italia, Miss Pat Ray, Miss Brooke, Miss Angel of Glass, all of these wonderful moderators who keep me on track and who make sure that I'm like uh, seeing what you guys are up to too, because it really is helpful. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, meeting Alexandra Rodriguez with me today. If you weren't familiar with her, or those of you who were familiar with her, having uh, your information to help introduce her to me. I am interested to continue with her. So I think we're going to add her to the mix because she seems way more interesting me to Amber. Amber is just, she don't have enough going on. Uh, Chantel is still out here in the wild in Canada, guys. So just be aware. And just notice that she was at a gas station. Okay. 
Grab that little paper towel at the gas station, okay? Use the little paper towel to get your gas gas pumps, okay? Gas gas stations are probably about the worst places. Get that hand sanitizer right on afterwards. You got to keep it right there in the car. Because <gasps> Chantel out there touching the gas pumps, okay, guys? We know she don't wash her hands after the restroom. And she had the Noro, we suspect. <laughs> you want to consider with Alexandra? Well, we're going to do that, Pat. We absolutely are. Well, you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, wherever you are in the globe. I don't know what we're going to do next. Uh, I probably, I think my next thing is probably going to be Wednesday's weekly checkup. So that's probably the next time I'm going to be going live because I got some things that I need to do for the channel and I need to focus on those for the next couple of days. And potentially Glitters has got something I that I may react to and just release it as a video. So thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm hoping to enjoy my party. I'm sure everyone's going to be like, you're really late, like two hours late. I'm like, oh, okay, it's the Masters. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully my friends will still be there because some of them have kids. So I don't know. Uh, as I always say to my friends, they don't pay my bills. So <laughs> if they're... If they're not, uh, so a lot of times that's why I miss events and stuff. Cause you know, I got to pay my bills at the end of the day. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm just teasing. Uh, but then when I was working as a nurse, absolutely. But I had such fun with you guys. I feel like I'm already hanging out with my friends. So I already feel like I'm at a party, you know, and they're not going to be talking about Chantal. So how am I going to explain this? Now, I do have a couple of my friends who do watch my content, and they are very aware of Anna and Chantal, um, and so they, uh, I do have some friends who do know these characters, so there's always a couple of us who, you know, who usually have uh, other members of the, uh, of their, like, entourage, if you may, uh, it, actually, it's my friend Rob. Who's if you looked at my birthday vlog, he's he's a really good friend of mine. So yeah. So, but thank you guys. Yeah, do what you guys do what you have to do too. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go enjoy my party. Um, I need to brush my hair and walk my dog. We'll see if I get there. <laughs> I am notorious. So <gasps> nothing changes. <laughs> All right, guys. I've had such a great time. If you haven't had a chance to hit the likes, hit the likes. I just appreciate you all. Chantel is extremely manipulative. Please don't give her any money. And we'll see you on the next one. You guys take care. Wash your hands, everybody. Wash your hands. Bye.